Hey everyone, this is Michael with Cult of Mac here, and today I'm going to show you how you can get rid of the ugly fonts in Notes and Mountain Lion and put any font you want into the app. So in Notes here, you can see that by default, the font is noteworthy. So if I type something to test it, if I say testing, testing, one, two, three, you can see that it's kind of an ugly font. If I make it bigger, you can see that more. I mean, it's it's nothing great and it's kind of unprofessional even when you're just typing notes. Uh, but if I go up to format here, I have a couple different options under font and default fonts. I can do marker felt, which uh, honestly is worse and kind of reminds me of Comic Sans. And then you also have Helvetica, which is decent, but it's kind of plain and boring. Uh, and those are your only fonts that notes gives you. Now, if you really wanted to, you could go to format and fonts and then show fonts and then go down here and dig through all these fonts to find the one that you want. But that's not really uh, a very easy method. And uh, if you just want to add you know, a couple of your favorite fonts to the list uh, permanently, you can add them right here to the default font list, which is a lot handier than having to search for different fonts and scroll through the list so, and select your text and then change the font and everything like that. So what you can do here is, is you can quit notes and then you want to open up a new finder window and you want to go to Macintosh HD applications and then right there will be notes. And if you right click on it, you can show package contents. And in here, of course, you want to go into contents and then resources. And then you want to find your language, which for most of you will probably be English. So in the English language folder, here, you'll find a whole bunch of different files, including this property list file here. Now, if you have Xcode installed, when you open this, it'll open with Xcode, uh, but you you don't really want to open it with Xcode to edit it. So you're going to right click open with and then other. And then I'll scroll down here until I find text edit. And you want to open this up with text edit. Now in the file here, you'll see that it says locked, which means you can't edit it at all yet. So what you're going to have to do is edit a couple permissions to make this file editable. So you'll want to right click on the file itself and select get info. Click this little lock icon down here, which will let, let you adjust the sharing and permissions. And you want to enter your password and select read and write for everything. And you also have to go out of this folder here and select the English language folder, get info there as well, and then do the same process of entering your password, changing everything to read and write. Now this can be a little bit of a pain, but if you use notes a lot, it's well worth it to have. Uh, everything you want right there and available for you as far as fonts go. So now you can open this back up. And you'll see that it's no longer locked. Now what you're going to do here is find a block of text here with a font in it. So this, there's three of them. So you're going to want to select everything in this block here and copy it out. So then what you want to do is go right to the end here, right before it says array, hit enter and then paste. Then you can just tab over this little chunk of text right here in order to get everything aligned. Now what you can see in here is that you can edit the font names and the sizes. So let's open up font book and let's pick a font that I want to choose. So let's go in here and I'm going to go under the user fonts. I'm going to put in chiller. Now this isn't really a practical font, uh, but it's kind of fun. So I'm going to use that. And I can also see all the information about here. And I can see that there's only a regular style available for this. Now, if you had like a regular font that had bold and light and everything, you could put a dash light or a dash bold after the font in order to change the, the weight of the font. But for this example, I'm just going to put in chiller right here. And then I'll put the size at 15. Uh, of course, you can change the size right within the app by selecting your text and hitting command plus. But I'll do this just for now. And you want to choose a font somewhere around a 14 or 15 so that it's legible. Then after that, you can just save this file. Now, what you should probably do if you're going to be using this a lot is make a backup of your file, maybe to your desktop. I'm just going to paste it here because when you install updates and the Notes app is updated, it will replace this file. So what you'll have to do is just drag it back in and then you'll have it restored. Now, back in Notes here, if I go up to the Format menu under Font and Default Font, I can see that I now have Chiller. And I can select that and it'll change my text to Chiller. And I can make this a little bigger here. So there's how you can add default fonts to the Notes app in OS X Mountain Lion. This probably isn't something practical that you want to do if you only use Notes here and there, but if you use it a lot for different Notes, 
as I frequently do, uh, you'll probably appreciate having something like this available to you. As always, if you have anything that you'd like to see me do a how-to on, make sure to send me an email. This is Michael with Cult Mac, and thank you for watching.